On Tuesday, striking ANC workers met with Treasurer General Paul Mashadile to try and resolve the non-payment of their salaries. Let's take you there live. Following our picket on the sidelines of the National Executive Committee meeting on the 21st of November 2021, for the first time, the leadership received a formal report over the issue of unpaid salaries as well as the plan by the Treasurer General's office to settle all outstanding salaries of over three months at the time. The plan was supposed to arrest cash flow problems and also provide certainty into future salaries. While some of the salaries have been paid, the promise of a full settlement has not been honored. In fact, all indications are that Tuesday 25th January will mark three months of non-payment of salaries for hard-working men and women who have put their lives on hold to play their part in ensuring that the ANC administration arm function in full steam. Despite public pronouncement by our leadership that the issue of unpaid salaries is receiving special attention, Evidence before us show that this is nothing but a deliberate attempt to mislead the public, hide and downplay the severity of the pain faced by the ANC workers. It has also become very clear that there is no plan by the Treasurer General's office to resolve this issue. More often, the party funding legislation is being blamed for our dire financial situation. However, we must set the record straight. The ANC supported the legislation in its current form. Therefore, the organization cannot be surprised by the limitations which results from the legislation. And also the salary delays started months before the legislation could come into effect. The ANC structures such as the National Working Committee and the National Executive Committee must have a monitoring mechanism to ensure that all commitments made on important matters such as labor disputes are actioned. We must be understood clearly in this regard. We support all forms of legislation at, aimed at capping corruption in our country. We are quite frankly disgusted by the divide and rule tactics which amount to nothing but an attempt to weaken and undermine the unity of the workers. The leadership has endorsed a decision to place some of the staff members under the care of provinces in terms of financial resources. This means ANC staff members in those provinces are receiving salaries and this could potentially weaken efforts to put pressure on management to attend to our demands. Even worse, some staff members are allegedly receiving stacks of hard cash in brown envelopes in exchange for their labor and loyalty as a majority of us continue to drown in a pool of poverty. We would like to call on our members to resist divisive actions and instead unite with the rest of us as we advance our struggle for decent conditions of employment. We have also rejected a proposal by the employer to have some sections of staff complemented declared essential services. This would mean they will continue to function more especially with the number of critical conferences due to take place this year. We see this as a disregard of our plight at the expense of workers. We allowed common sense to prevail during preparations for 2021 local government elections by suspending our industrial action and roll up our sleeves in defense of the ANC. However, we will not accede to unreasonable requests which are aimed at undermining our industrial actions of staying away. We have resumed our action with the stay away on Monday 17 January until all our dispute rating to unpaid salaries, medical aid, and provident fund are agently addressed. We also frown upon the tendency of using our fellow workers in parliament and national caucus of the ANC as a backup plan against persistent atrocities committed against the rest of national staff complement. We caution workers to refrain 
from scap labor. That's the end of our statement on behalf of the workers of the NC. I thank you. Thank you, Comrade Mvusi. We are going to be taking questions from uh, uh, the media. Uh, I would like to take questions through the platform of Zoom where we are going to be having hands raised uh, in, the, in the app. So far, I don't see any hands. Uh, we'll assist each other in that regard. And if there's anyone who has a problem probably with the functioning of the app we are using, uh, can they indicate so that we give them an opportunity to ask questions? Okay, I can see the hand of Natasha Piri. Will be the first. And I see no other hand so far. Can we have your question, uh, Natasha? Thank you. Hi, um, hi everybody. Um, Bob and Dan, I just want to know, I mean, like you've indicated, this is a very crucial year for the ANC. You've got your elective conference in December. The leagues are supposed to sit, regions, provinces, um, you name it. Um, by intensifying your industrial action, um, do you think that the leadership of the ANC will actually heed to your demands um, once and for all? And, and I mean, um, in terms of intensifying your industrial action, what impact will this actually have on the movement, seeing that um, the ANC will be going to conferences Yeah, Thank you. Uh, Comrade Vusi, can you respond to that? I see, I still see no hands that is coming from, from any media and no questions on the chats. Okay, thanks, Natasha, for your question. Uh, this uh, uh, stay away currently is going to have a huge impact on the ANC. Currently, as we are preparing for regional conferences, branches of the ANC must convene PGMs and PPGMs, and then they must receive QR codes from uh, the membership system. Currently, none of them is able to do that because of this uh, action of ours. Therefore, what it's, it means that everything in terms of preparing for a conference is in a standstill. And that's a huge impact that is going to have at the ANC, even if the leadership of the ANC at the national level, uh, they lack this commitment. They will feel pressure, not only from the staff members of the ANC, but from all structures of the ANC, because this has rendered them not to be able to function normally. Uh, any other questions? I don't see any hands for now. Uh, if our statement was uh, that clear, we really appreciate that. And we we'll, uh, like to thank everyone that came through. Because uh, I seem not to have any question, Comrade uh, Mfusi, so we, we can't force uh, questions. But appreciating the opportunity and uh, uh, the time that you have given us, the post. Um, press interviews that uh, different media houses would like to have. They will communicate with us through uh, the means that they communicated when we 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 arrived at this uh, point in time. Otherwise, I uh, thank you very much for our press briefing uh, that we had to share with everyone today. Uh, yeah. There's, there's, there's nothing for now. Thank you. There's, there's Gertrude, I think, Gertrude. Uh... Mm. Okay. Well, from the chats, it's only one uh, question from the chats. Uh, Gertrude Makafola, 
Uh, I don't know from which media house, but... You come out of that briefing uh, from Vusim Dala. He's the chairman of the ANC Employees Representative and uh, uh, representing about 300 ANC staff members. And he says that they reject some of the suggestions that the mother body has put forward in resolving some of their challenges. So an ongoing story there.